There we go. Okay. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dion here. Yeah? Uh, thank you once again to everybody that's subscribed to the channel. It's great to have you guys on board. Today, we're going to do our first product review. <laughs> um, yeah, so besides having all the equipment that we've got, we might as well start doing a little bit of reviews and uh, first-hand experience and experiences of the equipment we carry. I know there's probably tons and tons of the stuff that's already on YouTube, but um, hey, this is our channel. <laughs> this is uh, to the back of beyond. Guys, today I'm going to talk about tires, the tire choice that we use on board the motorcycle, the Yamaha Super Tenere 1200 2010 model. Um, a couple of episodes ago, you might have remembered I did speak about the tires I use. And what we use currently on board this bike or on this motorcycle's front and back are none other than the Heidenau K60 Scout. Um, so I'm going to just have a quick chat about all the, um, the good things and the bad things that I've experienced with the tires. And hey, maybe it's something that you're going to be uh, interested in installing, or the tires that you might be interested in installing on your motorbike. Guys, have you seen in our videos, Kel and I, we travel two up fully loaded um, on and off-road. So with that, I was always looking for a 50-50 tire. 50 on, 50 off. And uh, we've used other another brand, um, also very good. But... Um, after riding with these tires for over a year now, I'll cover the mileage or how much uh, kilometers I've got out of the set so just a little bit later. Um, we decided that hiding our K60 Scouts were just as good, if not better. Um, so, well over a year ago, I think last year, October 2023, I did install the K60 Scouts. Uh, purchased them through Flying Brick here in Cape Town. They were just over, just over four and a half or four thousand nine hundred kilometer rand for the set, and then uh, an extra three hundred fifty bucks, whatever it was, to uh, have them installed on the motorbike um, at TrackMac. Here in Pied Mountain, Cape Town. So uh, it was just over a 5,000 rand deal. Um, today, purchasing another set of the K60 Scouts, hiding our K60 Scouts, and they will be installed on the bike this coming Monday. Uh, now for the big reveal. How much kilometers have I managed to pull out of these tires? Um, last I checked, because every time I put on new tires, I log it in my logbook. And I checked uh, this morning, and it is 22,568 kilometers. 22,568 kilometers out of the set. Let's have a look at the front and the rear tires, um, so you can see what tread is left. Uh, starting with the front, you can see there's still quite a chunky amount of tread left, but um, I always change my tires out at the same time. So when the front gets done, the back gets done. When the back gets done, the front gets done. So that they uh, they wear out together, and uh, there might be still yeah. Well, it looks like there's quite a little bit of mileage still left on them, but we're changing them out on Monday. Okay, let's have a look at the back tire. Um, as you can see on the back tire, there's uh, quite a considerable amount of tread. It's, it's gone. It's, it's down. It's now because it's time to change. Um, slight cracking, as you can see on the. Here and there, and the little, little few far between spaces of the tire. You can see small little cracks, which is it's good. It's nothing, nothing major. Uh, tire pressures that I run is 2.3 front, 2.3 at the back. 
Guys, I don't air down my tires for soft sand. I don't see any significant um, gains out of it. It just opens the bike up when it's heavy to uh, flats, pinch flats, and uh, rim damage from rocks. So I don't air up. I don't air down. Oh, I don't air down the tires. They stay at 2.3 bar all the time. Sometimes maybe just a little bit harder, but I do monitor them on the tire pressure monitoring system and then also the temperature. So that's always very important to uh, always monitor the tires and what they're doing because being on a heavy motorcycle, you really don't get a feel of what your tires are doing. All right, so the pros of these tires, never, ever, ever, touch wood, have had a puncture front or rear. We do carry with us puncture repair um, plugs and also the, the foam just in case we do experience a flat. With this set, zero punctures. That's a pro. That's a, that's a uh, sorry, a pro of the tires. Zero punctures. Long lasting, long wearing. Another pro. Um, the sidewalls are also they're damn strong, guys. The grip in the wet on tarmac is good, but I mean you have to be careful when you're riding on wet roads anyway. It's like it's a given. So I never had any slippage or any sliding problems. And I commute with this motorcycle every single day to and back, uh, to and from work. Rain, sunshine, wind, hail, snow, whatever it is that's thrown at the bike, I ride it. So another good thing is uh, the traction on the road is good. Traction off-road, also excellent. Never had any, any issues. Um, of course, you have to ride within your skill set. And with that being said, I don't do power slides. I don't do wheelies. I don't do burnouts. So... The tires last that little bit longer, um, or a lot longer. Um, as far as cons go, guys, I really I can't see any cons. The only thing I do notice is that the front tire has got a very high humming noise at about yeah over 100 k's an hour, which does get a little bit irritating. But I mean, you get used to it, so it's that's probably all I can really say. That's that's the cons of these tires. It's just the humming of the front tire. Um, whew. I really, I've thought about this video for quite a while now to think of what the cons are of the K60 or the high enough K60 tires. I really don't have anything bad to say about them. They, they're very good. They're value for money. They are great 50-50 tires. They're great for long distance touring. And, um, yeah, it's all around great tires. Can't say much, much worse, much bad about them. Um, if you do have any questions, however, regarding the tyres, um, maybe something that we might have missed or something that you're curious to know about, leave a comments in the section, in the, in the comments below. Um, we'll definitely answer your questions that you might have. And uh, yeah, the other thing with these tyres, they are available in all different sizes, all different makes of bikes. So they. Have a look at your local tire dealer. They'll definitely, definitely have your size. If not, they can definitely order it in for you, like Flying Brick did for me. Great service, guys. Also, thank you very much. Much appreciated to everyone at Flying Brick Motorcycles. Thumbs up for uh, your great service that you've always provided. Thank you. Um, guys, that about ends it for this short little review episode. Uh, like I said, in the next episode coming up, uh, we're going to be covering our next trip into the Karoo and Cedarburg area with uh, Cal and myself. So we're going to be doing a full-on three-day camping trip. So we'll be fully loaded, new tires on the motorcycle. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you guys or look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode.